Hey guys, it's Crystal here, and I'm here with information for the Art It Out Facebook group's Art Swap. And the swap this month, you know, I asked you guys what you wanted to do. So we're doing homemade washi tape. Okay, I'm going to show you a few examples. I don't have very many made right now. Um, I have one from a friend I got in um, Happy Mail Share 2. And, and then I'll give you the information, you know, sign up dates, how long you have, minimum amount. And then if whoever wants to see how it's done, I will do a quick demonstration. It's really easy, guys. Um, let me show you what I have so far. Here's some I made. And I will cut them is what I'll end up doing is cut the pieces um, off here. And it's just, it is... Um, wax paper so it comes off see uh, and these are a fatter um, tape that I have so I'm actually going to cut these in half with some fancy scissors so I'll get actually with some jaggedness to them there's that one now this one I did with some spray inks and just playing around um, just literally just throwing some stuff around um, not my best here, <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I like these. Um, so, but I'm, everybody's their harshest critic, right? Okay, so we have those two. And then we have these I got in a Happy Meal. And as you can see from the back here, they're on like a wax paper. And there's those. Aren't those fun? Super fun. I love it. And these are easy to come off too. I actually I used some earlier, or um, yeah, I cut a, I cut a, a line of them off. And I will say, um, if you do the the if you guys join in on this, which a lot of you were really interested in, see, um, if you use a drying tool on these to dry them, um, there's a good chance you might have problems pulling these off of here. And if that's the case, hit it with your, your heat dry gun and they'll come right off if, if it becomes an issue. So, washi, homemade washi tape. A lot of fun. Um, I'm excited. I'm going to leave this one down here right now. So, it is you guys have till Monday the 11th to get these to get signed up. It will be posted in the, the um, Art It Out group. I will tag it to the top of the page for it's easy to find. You have until July. Um, I'm having a back ass day. <laughs> Sign up till Monday 11th. I will get the um, swap partners out usually with the next day and then you have until July 11th to get them sent out now I'm giving a month exact um, these don't take a lot long time to do but it is summer we are busy um, life's happen so but you do not have to wait till that date to send out guys that is the absolute latest if I don't put one there's some people that just will forget if they don't have one so Yes, you have a month. Crossing my fingers, we don't have any issues because it is so far out there. You need to enclose, it's real simple guys, a minimum of 10 different designs. Okay, So, I could easily go, if I did something more, I think, I could count that as two different ones because they are, they are different, but I'm going to go with one. And then, let's see here, here's one, here's one, here's one. So, the different designs guys, so you need 10 of those. As always, my rule of thumb is, if you wouldn't want to get it, if you wouldn't be happy to receive it in the mail, then don't send it. Um, that's that's the rule of thumb when you're doing part swaps. If it's something you wouldn't be happy with, don't, don't send it. That is all you have to do with this swap is send 10 different designs. Um, I would recommend keeping on there. Don't bother rolling them up. Like something like this. I mean, you could. She did a cool idea with the um, tissue paper roll, but it's it's going to cost you more to send that way because it's fatter. Okay, you can easily fold these up like this. 
you know, have your different ones, put them in an envelope, so they're going to be flat, no problem, all right? So it's going to be a cheap one also that to send, and you don't have to send anything else, guys. So let me go this one more time, and then I'm going to show um, how to do this. If you're interested in joining, hit us up in the Art Out Facebook group, the link's below. You have till Monday the 11th to sign up. I will put the partners out the next day. You have t until July 11th to get them out. That's the absolute last day. If you get your stuff done in a week and you send, you want to send them out, then send them out in a week. I would recommend asking your partner, hey, are you done? Are we good? Um, and that way you guys send them at the same time. Um, I've had less problems if people do do that. but um, And you need to enclose a minimum of 10 different designs. So there you go. All right. Now, I will put all that information in the Art It Out Facebook group. It will be tagged to the top. Now, if you know how to make this, which is pretty easy to make, guys, all you have to have wax paper and masking tape. They are so many different. This is a big fatty. I've got this one. I've got this one. Um, this one is a Dollar General. I just went and picked that because I thought I couldn't find this one. Um, and it costed me a dollar. It was under two bucks. So, um, don't buy your masking tape at like Hobby Lobby or Michaels. Oh my god, art tape is so much more expensive and it's the exact same shit. So, there you go. So, you need a piece of washi. What you do is up to you. I would recommend if you are. If you are, be remember that people are going to be using these in their art. So make sure if the, if you're doing something on them that is water resistant or water soluble, that when it hit, when something wet hits it, it reacts. You might want to um. I'm just going to kind of throw some down here. You're going to want to put some type of fixative on top because it just pisses me off <laughs> when you have something really pretty and you go to use that cool washi or a cool thing that somebody gave you and when you go to glue it down, it, um, guess what, it, it runs and put, makes marks on your page and different things like that. So, Mod Podge it put a fixative over it, put a matte medium on if it's not a permanent type of, um, like ink pads, um, make sure they're archival or stays on or something that won't run. We're not, we're not into perfection here in this group by far. We're into having fun. But keep in mind... I try to leave a spot where I can kind of cut it. Keep in mind, you are going to... People are going to use these. At least I hope so. Because I like to see people use their goodies. Not just be a collector or a art supply buyer. Not an artist. So. so you're going to throw some down, guys. Now you may want to think about um, taping your page down when you're doing this to, the, to your table or something because it does um, it does move. It kind of has a tendency to wrinkle, but I would recommend uh, you might want to well, might want to think about doing that because it keeps them straighter instead of when they start to buckle when they get wet. Something that I've learned along the way. And if you are with the Facebook group, you have seen, since I mentioned and asked everybody what they wanted to do, um, some people have been making, making, making some and posting what they're making. So that's been nice. All right. 
Now let's go ahead and put one on. I try to do it in a big batch, guys, because you got it out. Yeah, I make some for you as you're as you're working on it. I want to take and put a little piece there, a little piece there. I'm actually going to do a little bit different on this. One. I'm going to use some some kind of watercolor to use or some color burst or something like that. Um, I don't know if it's going to work or not, but I'm going to try. And I want to use some gesso for it will stick to it. Bentley, where is that supposed to be at? Is the art box supposed to be on the floor? No, it's not. So get up at the table with it, please. Sorry, guys. And you're gonna make a mess. Another one that's kind of messy. <laughs> but put that gesso down. It gives your tape something to grip it at. Otherwise, it kind of just sits on the surface and it doesn't hold it. Um, as you've seen with mine, um, this one I used gesso on. Of course, there's some pieces that I didn't, but these I did not use gesso on, and you can tell the difference. It doesn't hold the color. And you see on my paper book one? So. You're going to want to put the tape. Okay, come on. Tape down. Let's try to. There we go. Once you get dry in, it does. Once you get that first coat or two, two on, it does quit um, moving around so much. And you're probably wondering, well, how can you see if you get the thing? Well, how am I supposed to cut those? So I don't. I'm gonna cut them up. If I'm doing them like this. You can turn them over and you can see where your lines are to cut if the whole thing's like that. So. Okie dokie, guys. I got my colors here. We're going to try this. It might not work, but. If it does, it's going to be really cool. It will be. And I'm, you know me, go for it, go, guys. Go for it. So I'm just going. Making a mess and going to do it. Okay, do Here we go. Are you ready? I'm gonna go with minim minimalist, minimalist, minimal water because of the tape. And I'm I'm not wanting like a water watercolor look. I'm more wanting a like sneak. You know how it looks. Like, see? Oh my goodness! And that's just so yummy. I just love this. These looks that they so pretty. Mmm. Isn't that pretty? Are you not in love with it? I am. I'm looking for a piece of paper if you want to try something. Or I'm actually looking for a piece of scrappy paper here. It's probably not going to work. No. I need some more color in there. Hmm. That the red would look pretty, but I don't know. Am I screwed up? Oof! That is so pretty. I like it. What do you guys think? Now, obviously, you guys can do. You can use stamps on them. I'm using this to kind of pat around a little bit. You can use stamps. You can use. Um, Anything, your little 
the heart wants on these. Um, the only problem, only um, thing stopping you is you. And that's that's it right in the handbook, guys. Good book. I had never, you know, I just thought, what the hell? Try it, play, have fun. Um, it's okay. You make mud. It's okay if you do. Um, it's not the end of the world. I swear to you. It's not. I'm just going to dot a little bit. Oh, so pretty. That's just neat. I like it. I like it a lot. So. Now I, for one, I might do a little bit something else to these, but I like it the way it is, so. I won't be adding on a lot more because I think this is just so pretty and neat looking. Um, I will dry it. I might put some yellow on it maybe. I don't know. I don't know. But see how even with the gesso, it's still, you got the movement. It's still, yeah. I know what I'm thinking, I just can't say it, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Even with the jets on, the, um, it still doesn't, it still moves, you know. Still moves. But I think it's pretty. So there you go. Um, you can stamp it. You can do whatever to make it a decorative washi tape. Don't be gluing on stuff to it, guys. Because washi tape don't have glued stuff on it. Um, it. It causes more problems in the end with something like this. Um, we're making... Erky washi tape. <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you guys are excited. Um, you chose it, so we're doing it. Uh, happiness to you. Go make a mess. And don't forget to sign up over on the Art Facebook group, guys. Bye.